I have wanted to be called up so much, and I'm just tickled at the irony right now that what lit me up enough for you to call me up today is bed bugs. <laughs> I am a very resourceful person. I have so much in my life to appreciate, and I do. And I get out ahead. I love my life. And yet, these remarkable little creatures have, I have given them power to buy, to distract. I've given them power because I've given them my attention. Yeah. So they don't really have your power because you know it. In other words, when you give someone your power, it's really not a problem when you know you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So stop it. Next. <laughs> Will you come live in my bedroom? To <laughs> no. <laughs> Nor will my husband right now. <laughs> so, uh, they have taken over and my life is is all focused on that as my friend who came with me today can attest I've never been so focused on what is something that is a negative and a challenging thing well, it's understandable isn't it In other yeah words, but I got to get past it and, yeah? and I got to get I, I appreciate them they are remarkable in their survivability <laughs> and I want them gone I have honored them. I have said, I love, you know, I un understand you. You are remarkable. And I want you to, s I want to say goodbye. <laughs> Let's talk about them in terms of anything that you've attracted into your experience. If you are talking to them, do they have your attention? Yes. So whether you're saying hello or goodbye, are you talking to them? Yes. Did you hear us when we were talking about laying new pipes? Yes. Do you have to lay new pipes about absence of bed bugs? Yes. Do you have to lay new pipes about absence of bed bugs? Oh, lay new pipes. Can you, in fact, lay new pipes about absence of something that has your attention so much? Can you stop thinking about something when, that you're thinking about so much? Right. Is there anything else you can think about? Now, this is a really good opportunity because when something is pervasive when something is steady and when something is that utterly annoying we know that it's not easy to get your attention on other things and yet that is what you have to do so let's think about the kind of pipes that are already there and the way they're clogged up as a result of the consideration that you're giving to this logical consideration everybody's sort of itching a little just 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 thinking about this conversation and Esther's wondering about something that she's got on her arm no it's okay I believe me that's the way it's been for two months and they can live without eating for a year good to know <laughs> Because now that I know it, I really want everybody to know it. I am spreading that vibration around the world. I want everybody to be aware. <laughs> She's trying to get you on her disc. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so if what we are suggesting about the lane of new pipes is a valid workaround for beginning to offer a vibration that is different than the vibration that you've been offering the most significant thing to consider is that you didn't start that vibration after the bed bugs got there the bed bugs came as a result of a vibration that you already had started mm -hmm. so now dealing with the bed bugs is only going to perpetuate something that was already in motion and all of that is part of that pipe clogging experience that we started with here today mm -hmm. so it would take a very strong person to not notice something that is happening when it is happening but the fact of it is it isn't happening all the time it isn't happening right now 
it isn't happening right now in other words you're not in your bed with your bed bugs right now right. and yet we're talking about it now when you were talking to your friend earlier it wasn't happening then either but you're still talking to your friend about it because I'm protecting myself not to have get bed bugs in this hotel <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm my naivete has been taken away I I see everything through a different lens now in travel so are you saying that you feel bound by what isness and that the what isness now is going everywhere you is <laughs> that somehow you've practiced a vibration that is actualized into something unwanted and you've lost your footing and now you don't trust your ability to focus that you don't have the ability to focus beyond what is that's what you just said but yeah. but we don't think it's what you mean it's not what we want you to mean okay. when we said earlier that we asked the question do you have to lay new relationship pipes in order to improve a relationship almost everyone in the audience acknowledged no we don't need to lay pipes about relationships but we do need to lay some new pipes so when something manifests the manifestation of it is just a further realization or actualization to confirm an already existing vibration and you gave some indication just now of some of the things that you have been feeling but when a manifestation happens if you look at it with some sort of scrutiny often you can recognize that there was a vibration that was there before that manifestation can you identify what that vibration might be and the best way to answer that question is to say having this actualization because I'm having this actualization it causes me to feel like this what does that experience cause you to feel like disillusioned I'm uh, not the creator of my own reality the bed bugs are but you're smarter than that and and they manifest how does this experience make you feel what is the emotion powerless powerless there's not much emotion that is more discord than that is there what else and wondering as you suggested how did I manifest these I mentioned this to my chiropractor holistic healer and he said well, now you're just gonna shore it up you're just oh, gonna okay. keep talking yourself more into okay. it and okay. that's really the point that we're making here because right. you're not powerless because you didn't have to tell that story but you wanted to okay. and the reason that you wanted to is because the momentum is already there so it's logical so the question is how far back in the momentum or pre momentum can you go before you cease telling the story mm -hmm because the bed bugs are really making a point they're saying to you now you've got this momentum going you said they seem impervious to everything you say these bed bugs are hardy they are thriving and we say everything that has your attention is that way in your experience and we understand that feeling of disillusionment that it feels to you that this is happening to you not because of you but that's the basic understanding that we want to get across to all of you we know when something comes into your let us explain it to you in this way so you've been launching those rockets and you've created that vortex and that vortex is spinning and there's momentum and the cooperative components have already been gathered and as the cooperative components have already been gathered in other words we're saying to you you have a vortex going that has the cooperative components of bed bugs in it in other words the only vortex that's spinning isn't the vortex that holds all the things that you want you're creating vortices on every subject that you spend any amount of time on and so you've already created that vortex but it wouldn't be affecting you if there was not a vibrational point of attraction or a grid that's happening right now that matches that so you could get up any morning of the world and you could choose a different vibrational disc but you don't because your attention to what is has your undivided attention the treatment so, 
So every morning you get up and you give your attention to that and then you just perpetuate that momentum. And so we think that it is a good idea that you go sleep in another bed. Now you did that. Yes. Did you come to this hotel and sleep in another bed? Oh yeah. So did you have the potential of having a different expectation last night? Almost. <laughs> So you have an opportunity now to make a different statement. Did you have bed bugs in your bed last night? Not that I know of. You're not even willing to go there. You are so determined to stay on the path of the bed bugs because what's at the heart of this vibration, the vibration that you are presenting to us and the message that you believe with everything that you are is that you are not the creator of your own reality. And even though you're standing here, you're talking to someone who knows differently. We have all of the resources that create worlds available and we're flowing them to you. You are determined to continue to perpetuate the belief as you have seen it to be. Yeah. And you're right. You cannot get to where you want to be from where you are without at least being willing to find some statement. Is this, it's like the bed bug. It's after you. <laughs> It's after you. you. You must be vigilant at all times to keep unwanted things away from you. Because the unwanted things in this world, no one else has had a microphone trying to smack them in the face all day. It's only you. You are the exception in, in this universe. Now you're taking all the fun out of it. <laughs> so. I, I appreciate, and, and you've helped me right now remember that, that really it's my reaction to them that I choose and, and I am creating that reality. So there is a vibration going, which you don't know you've got going, which causes a manifestation, which then you react to. And once the manifestation comes, we'll give it to you. It is not easy not to have a reaction to manifestations. In fact, it's the most natural thing in the world. In fact, it's part of what makes you sift through the contrast, you see. But at some point, you have to have had enough of the experience that a new rocket is launched that says, I've got to find another way of dealing with this because clearly the way that I have been responding to it is not working. And that's contrast that will really serve you. In other words, when we insist that you stay with us long enough to acknowledge that you're not trying very hard to find a different way of staying it, when we're giving you leading statements that would give you the opportunity with infinite intelligence at your beck and call to jump on a different disc and you refuse to do so, then you know that you've got something pretty heavy duty going on. And what that heavy duty thing that you've got going on is, and a lot of people do, Esther, from time to time too, it's that it feels to you when the grid fills in because when the grid fills in with something that you don't want it feels like something is asserting itself into your experience we get it when you ask for something that you want and it comes you feel like a really good deliberate creator but when you're asking for something that you don't want and it comes then it feels like somebody must be asserting into your experience and it is never the case it's always no matter what every single time no matter what every single time that you're getting something wanted or unwanted you have invited it every single time there's no assertion in this universe it's an invitation every single time you see so you said when you sat down I've wanted to have a conversation I've wanted to have a conversation I've wanted to have a conversation but it took my utter feeling of lack of control to get me in the chair mm -hmm. and we say your utter feeling of lack of control is going to serve you in a powerful way because there's nothing that makes you determined to get control of your own vibration than not to have control of your own vibration